Hey guys, welcome to a review in the film Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. So I would recommend if you haven't seen this film yet, I recommend leaving the video. But if you have or you don't care about spoilers, um, I mean I don't, I don't think there'll be any spoilers in this, I'm just going to talk about one main thing about this film, well a couple main things and that's about it really. Um, because there isn't much to talk about, this, uh, there isn't much to talk about about this film because this film doesn't really have a fucking story or anything so it's not really anything I can talk about. But what I am going to be talking about is the violence, the sex, the nudity, and uh, the violence in this film because there is a lot of it. Like there's just no, there's never a dull moment in this film. I will say that. For that, I'll give it an eight out of ten. For just this film overall, an eight out of ten. I know that might this seem a bit too much for this film, but to be honest, I like it when you see people get killed all the time and when there's naked women. So to be honest, I think it's a fair a fair score for this film. So, I can't even fucking tell you what the premise of this fucking film is because there's no story. I don't understand it. There's like four, four different stories, like, you know, chopping and changing between them both. Well, between all four. Um, or three, I'm not too sure. But, it's always changing between them. It's going back in time, forward in time, like to the present. And it's like, what even? I don't even understand what's going on. Please, someone explain to me. What is, is what is this film about? I mean, I know it's based off the thing that the guy did. The um, he made a graphic novel, and I'm pretty sure if I read it, it would be a lot easier to understand. But just the story, I don't think the story even matters in this. Or, I mean, the acting's amazing in this film. Jessica Alba's amazing in this film. She's she's like popped out two children now, and she's still got an amazing body. You got like these really gruff guys who are who, who, super hench and they're like super awesome and it's just like holy shit you know like they they look pretty cool they got really deep voices and it's just like when they narrate the scene it's just you know it brings a lot more to the scene and Jessica Alba basically doesn't talk throughout the film but she just acts really well on it it's just, it's just hard to explain how well these characters act well these actors act act. Um, Bruce Willis shows up a couple times and does fuck all for the film, but apart from that, every character just brings something to the film, and I think it's really good. Um, but if you get a boner for, like, violence, like, torture, gore, explosions, naked women, um, naked men, I can't remember. <laughs> but if you get a friggin' rock-on erection for that, then watch this film, because this is gonna be, like, one of your favourite films of the year. I will say it is better than the first film. The first film, the, I just didn't understand at all. This film, at least I understood the story a bit more. And also, from the first the first film, which supposed to look like a comic book, uh, with the with the way the, the film looks, black and white and whatever. This film looks so much better than the first film. The first film looked like a piece of shit. Uh, well, back in the day it looked okay, but now it looks like a piece of shit. But this film, compared to it, looks so good. Uh, they really captured like the whole graphic novel style it's supposed to be because um, it's supposed to be black and white that's basically what the whole film is and then you got um, well I think it's I'm not sure if it's black and white or it's just super saturated because you do see a lot of color in their faces sometimes um, depending on what happens in the scene yeah there's like a lot of blood um, which is like white and stuff that's that's pretty weird but it's pretty cool basically in this film, it's all black and white, just put it simply. And then every so often, you'll get um, an important character or an important item or something that'll be a different color. That's just how you know that something's important in this film. And I thought that was a pretty interesting way of like going about it. Basically, all in all, this film very, very good, very interesting concept. Uh, I, there's no story to it, so don't don't go to see it for the story because there isn't one. Um, Go to see it for Eva Green. I'm pretty sure that's what her name is. Uh, she has like bright green eyes in the film, and she plays Ava. Um, and she has like the most perfect tits I've ever seen on a woman. I'm just gonna say that now. Like, if you deny that, you're retarded. Honestly, her tits are just amazing. And she's basically naked throughout the whole film. So you know that's that's a plus. Yeah, this like the Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He's in this film for quite a bit. Um, until like this one bit, spoiler alert, he gets shot on the fucking forehead. Like what the hell? I don't understand. 
his character is so pointless when that happens. Like, it's like everything he just did was for nothing. It was like, oh, okay. Like, uh, I, d I just don't understand why they had to kill him off. I mean, that might have ha happened in the graphic novel, but they could have changed it for the film. I mean, to be honest, who reads, the, who reads now? Like, you know, I, I don't think I've ever met anyone or heard anyone talk about the book or the graphic novel. Whether I don't know what the difference is anyway, but I've never, any, I've never heard anyone talk about it. So, you know, changing it's not going to matter, if I'm honest. And, uh, yeah. But, overall, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for explosions and shooting people and eyes getting poked out and shot out and hands getting broken and dislocated and shit. Uh, naked women, Eva Green, uh, Jessica Alba, you know, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for all the sex, but the nudity and everything. And um, I would definitely recommend this film. It's actually, it's got a good story. It's got a better story than the first one anyway. It's not a good story. It's not well thought out, if I'm honest. But it's mainly because I don't understand what was going on. But if you do understand what's going on, that's going to make this film even better for you, if I'm honest. So, <laughs> it's only one hour and 40 minutes, so it's not a long film. Um, compared to some, some films are like two, hour, two and a half hours these days. But um, yeah, make sure you go check out this film if you think it sounds interesting and if you get a, an erection for violence so yeah thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time goodbye